Hello and welcome to the world of Minecraft. This is Cody. And this is Jason. And today we'll be looking at a little project we've been working on in the MIT Media Lab. So here in front of us we have the companion cube from the game Portal. Now there have been some pretty crazy awesome creations that have come out of the world of Minecraft in the last year. And so we thought, what if it was possible to take those creations and bring them into the real world? So that's what we're going to be showing you how to do today. So first thing we have to do is define the area that we want to print. So in this particular case, the cube. We will be using four distinct blocks, obsidian, diamond, gold, and iron, to cordon off the area to print. So the reason we picked these four is there's no way they'll be found in a normal Minecraft level, and the vast majority of players are not going to use this combination in any actual creation. So now that we define one point, we can, jump, we can jump over to the other point. Warp speed! All right, so now we place the second point. We do the same blocks, but in a little bit different configuration. So be careful, you don't want to fall off the edge there. You might have to start the game over. Press shift! Pro tip. And there we go. Now we have our, our box marked for the cube. Yep, so now we have our three-dimensional space, and now we can just jump over to the terminal and start the Python script. So to process this uh, shape in Minecraft, we just run a simple Python script that we wrote, and it generates um, a standard model file that can be used in a, a variety of 3D printing. So there it's parsing the, the chunks, and then it will process it, and we're ready to go. All right, so now we can jump over to actually printing it. And in this particular case, we're using a professional grade 3D printer, but there's no reason you couldn't use a RepRap or MakerBot or any other that you, any other 3D printer that you could get your hands on. There are also several different websites which will allow you to upload an STL file, and then they will print off and mail you the resulting object. So once that is done, the cube is now in reality, so congratulations! If you've followed along, you now have a real Minecraft object in the real world. But wait, there's more! You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger, darling. This. This is a one-to-one -one scale model of the Starship Enterprise. I just got finished putting the framework together. I haven't slept yet, so I'm going to be a little loopy as I show you what I've got here. So, uh, let's take a walk, shall we? Um, pretty much the uh, plan of this little project is 